So that pause is going to allow that dynamic shift to really take place, which is always a better way to go when you're arranging something that's already been done before or even just writing your own song. Ebb and flow is king. Maybe it would be interesting if I did it on keys, then it would be a little bit different. I think different sometimes is better. If this works out, I'd be happy about that. Okay, obviously it's <laughs> way too high. Maybe D? Maybe I won't you. It's a really high falsetto. Let's try this key, which is a very annoying key to play in, but I'll see if it works. Oh, really? Still too high, way too high. Let's bump it down. Never really. The falsetto there is decent. I could probably do a better job. Maybe one one down, but it might be too low in the verses. So that, those are the issues that we're gonna have to face and figure out. Baby, If I could just bring it down one key and if it works in the verses, that might be the one. Maybe I want you. Just to be my life was just emotion. I think that is the the only key. Otherwise, if I were to lower it one more, it would just be too low on the verses. Baby, I'ma need you. Okay, this would work. This would work. Because what I could do in the verses, even though it's still low, is just do more of a breathy kind of vocal so that it kind of sounds like the low notes are being compensated for by uh, the tone that I could create with my voice. So maybe that'll work. We might need to change the key, but the good thing about using MIDI is that I can change it on a whim later on in the mix, like I did with She's Always a Woman, which you can check out right over here, actually. So what I could do is I'll start up here. Baby, I want you. And on the second verse, I can be down here, I'd still be playing like a soft keys arrangement. And then in the chorus, I can just be in a mid range. Near the end of the song, I can bring it up in volume and go down in range and just kind of play it a bit more strongly, if that makes any sense. So let's give this a shot. Baby, I'm gonna need you. I don't want to do like a musical interlude. So I'm going to go first verse, second verse, chorus. I don't know why. Let's see. And then I want to go back up here. You're the only one I care enough. Here. So let's just call it a verse. Kind of sounds like a B minor. That's going to E, maybe. We could always fix that chord later on, but I think that's a good arrangement. It's a nice, quick little song. So from this chorus, this chorus is big, right? So in order for this to sound like there's going to be a dynamic shift from this chorus to the verse that comes right after it, Something has to happen in the dynamics, literally, because if I'm gonna be up here, used to be my life was just emotions passing by. then I'm gonna be pretty like a mezzo forte, uh, kind of like in terms of volume right over here. In order to bring that energy back down, is pause, pause right after here, so I could do. I don't know why, but baby, I want you. Baby, I'm gonna need you. Took so long, For the most part, it's pretty much that's pretty much done. So that pause is going to allow that dynamic shift to really take place and create a nice ebb and flow to the song, which is always a better way to go when you're arranging something that's already been done before or even just writing your own song. Ebb and flow is king. I am going to record a scratch vocal first. Baby, I won't want you. You're the only one I care enough to hurt about. Feeling all the while, never really knowing why. Baby, I want you. Ba Pretty much 
much have everything I need. This is a scratch vocal, so obviously I'm not gonna keep it, but maybe we can boost this song by bumping up the tempo. It kind of feels boring to me, honestly. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so definitely 150 trumps, whatever, 130, 125, whatever we had before. So it's time for lead vocals. I'm not having much luck with this key after all. I'm going to raise it by half a step and hopefully that works out a little bit better. Cause I'm struggling with these notes. You're the only one I care enough to hurt about. Used to be my life was just emotion passing by. All right, that's a wrap. I think I'm good with that. And I'll just fix like one or two things here. This was a two hour production. I say production because it's not really a production. It's just kind of, it's one instrument and one uh, vocal. So it's kind of more of like a live acoustic type of thing, right? And this vocal more or less was one take anyway. So I'm more than happy with that. I just I screwed up a word over here. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this behind the scenes of me recording this song. And if you guys wanted to actually check out the final version in music video form, you could just check one of the links over here. I'm sure it'll, it'll pop up. But in any case, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.